Married at First Sight Season 12, Chris Williams attacks jo Jamie Otis, reminds Married at First Sight viewers that she thought Doug was ugly. Honey, apparently Chris is coming for everybody, including me, okay? So this is a two for one today. I'm going to do that one where she attacked Jamie, where she attacked me. He, he came for me, and he came for all Married at First Sight fans and uh bloggers that talk about him on youtube and on facebook okay i'm doing i'm giving y'all two for one today girl because you know tomorrow's wednesday we gotta get it all out before the show comes on tomorrow welcome back to church girls and faith girls want to get married too my name is janice good morning good morning good morning it's 5 30 a.m here in the morning in the northeast yo girl's been up since two something this morning working on my book and doing these videos okay I love you, girl. Thumbs up. Sh uh, share this out. Remember my books on Amazon. 23 types of guys you might meet, but the links are below. My mentoring program. Thank you, booze. Chris William attacks Jamie Otis, reminds Mariner first of years that she thought Doug was ugly. It is clear Chris William does, and this is from monstersandcritics.com, okay? So I'm reading all these articles, and you guys seem to really like those, so... I read while you listen, okay? It's clear Chris Williams doesn't have a lot of fans on this season of Married at First Sight from telling his new wife he wasn't attracted to her to dropping the bomb of a lifetime on the honeymoon. It's getting worse every episode. Chris isn't only getting the reaction of fans, but fellow Married at First Sight alum as well. Chris first started giving off red flags when he revealed he was recently engaged only a few months prior. While the experts believe he was ready for marriage, fake experts, they need to, I would say, lose their license. But this is a pandemic. Ain't nobody trying to lose no job. Okay, I ain't gonna say that. But y'all need to uh, go back to school. How about that? Mm -hmm. While the experts, expert, experts believe he was ready for marriage, his past is ultimately catching up to him. Uh, somebody says, rub a dub, thanks for the grub. Yeah, God, well, all right then. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. The marriage between Chris and Paige started off on the wrong foot and got only worse while the newlyweds spent more time together. It all started on Instagram. It all started with a post caption, a storm is coming. A storm did come and it's clear Chris... Chris's big bombshell rocked these newlyweds. While speculations has ruled social media for weeks, Chris finally says those fateful words, my ex-fiance is pregnant. Oh, it's garbage day. Ooh, they must, they get late. Oh, child, they usually come at 1 a.m. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did, honey. Uh, also, here's the Married at First Sight lifetime, okay? It says a storm is coming. Uh, don't miss all the drama that's to come with a brand new episode of Married at First Sight. Uh-huh, drama. We know that's what y'all do. Fans have felt Paige has received the short end of the stick all season, and even unfiltered host Jamie Otis broke her silence. Jamie commented under the post, Paige, no one should blame you if you wanted to run. All caps. Excuse me. I feel so bad for the mess you're in. Girl, you deserve so much better. However, Chris wasn't here for the Merit at First Sight alumni's comments. While participants are usually quiet while the show is still airing, he calls out Jamie, Jamie's mistakes when she was on the show. Ooh. bringing up her season when she famously cried through her wedding day after meeting her new husband Doug he wrote nothing to no one has ever nothing no one has ever done to their spouse ever compares to that after you two failed stints on the bachelor that's why I can't stand her because she really was looking for little she was looking for fit for fame okay uh, after your two failed sons on The Bachelor, you and your husband's story of redemption afterwards is amazing, but you would think there would be a little more grace from you, okay? He says, Chris says, did anyone tell your husband to run hmm? when you embarrassed? 
embarrassed him on national TV, crying and pouting like a five-year-old while still in your wedding dress at the altar. Nothing no one has ever done to their spouse ever compares to that. After two failed stints from The Bachelor, you and your husband served redemption after it was amazing, but you would think you would get a little grace from you. While Jamie and Doug famously have one of the most successful marriages of the franchise, their star would have made you think otherwise. I really, I don't, don't think. I think they're sticking it through for the money. I think she's staying with him for the money and for the fame. But if you watch the show, you can tell how disrespectful Jamie is to Doug. Okay? She don't, she don't adore him. There you go, Mr. Chris. I'm actually a wife with a good husband. Oh, well. Did Jamie don't, don't adore and respect and admire Doug. She does. You could tell. You know, the same way Karen acts like uh, Miles has the uh, cootie. Mm -hmm. Fans were not here for the slander of the first lady of the franchise and came to Jamie's offense. One user argued back, Jamie didn't have sex with Doug and then turn around and tell him she wasn't attracted to him. Jamie didn't leave a pregnant fiance two months before getting on the TV show to get married. You are not the same. Why would you go on the show in the first place if you were previously engaged and obviously still had sexual relationship with the per previous person you were with? One view asked Chris. According to Chris, there's more to the story. Keep watching the show please the truth will come out in due time he replies lord jesus what kind of truth is going to come out mm, 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 mm. it's clear jamie is in phase as she continued to share her opinion with fans on social media do you think jamie has a right to speak on chris's situation everybody has a right to speak on chris's situation and i'm not even a fan of jamie okay i can't stand her because i don't think she's really like Chris said, you've been on two shows, girl, trying to find love. This is show number three. And I think she finally got her a dude and she's sticking it through. I don't think she, she don't love Doug. And she, she, well, let me not say she don't love him. Maybe she's not in love with him. And she obviously, obviously has no respect for him. I'm gonna have to come back and do another video because I don't want this video to, to be too long. So let me know what y'all think. Um... The thing, the thing about, and a lot of you ladies, I just, y'all don't understand. A lot of you ladies comment in my section whenever I talk about Miles and Karen, and you always bring up how Jamie was not attracted to Doug, okay? Please listen to me. Men and women are different. Men and women are different. We're not the same. A man must absolutely be attracted to us. A man must absolutely think we are pretty. Someone commented in my in my um, comment yesterday when I said uh, I had three guys that told, I think it was three that told me they did not want a ready-made family. And I was like, well, okay, thank you. Three or four and about three of them were still friends on YouTube, on Facebook. And a guy, I think, commented, he says, not that they didn't want a ready-made family. They didn't think you were attracted. And I said, true, that makes sense, right? Because guys tell us all these things all the time. I'm not ready to get married. Uh, I, I, I want to save up some money. I don't want a ready-made family. And maybe they are covering up the real reason is they don't find you attractive. And that's okay. Because guess what, girl? Guess what? Huh? Guess what? Guess what? Somebody, a good man, ah, a safe man, a Bible believing man, an executive, okay, saw me and thought I was the prettiest little thing he ever did see. Girl, he told me this morning, he said, you so pretty. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so ladies, don't run the men down who don't want us. Just leave them and let them go. So those of you ladies who want to always say Jamie wasn't attracted to Doug and look at them now, you need to understand men and women are different. A man had to find us attractive. Woman, 
Even if we think a man is ugly, we can get over his ugliness because he treats us good. Miles and Karen, she don't like him. She still don't like him. You watch the videos, you could see the cooties. Okay, she still she still act like mine's have the cooties. But like I said in my other video, I think she's trauma bonding. And because she had a traumatic experience with the last boyfriend, Miles treat her well, and so she decides to stick it out. The same thing with Jamie. I think Jamie's there for the money, for being on the franchise and there for the money. Because you watch Jamie's videos, the way she speak to Doug, she doesn't respect him. She does not honor him. She does not adore him. Because when a woman adores her husband and respect her husband, you don't talk to him the way Jamie talks to Doug. Okay, so men and women are different. Do not compare the attraction of men as the same. They're not equate. Don't equate them. They're not different. He could be ugly like, uh, what was he saying? You, you ugly like a... You know, like a gazilla. I don't remember what we used to say back home. A man could be ugly, girl. But if he treat us right, and he loves us, and he pays the bills, and he take care of us, listen, we will overlook the ugliness. Y'all, I can't do it, child. My man's got to look good to me. I can't, I can't, okay? Y'all see my husband. Y'all see my baby's daddy. Handsome, okay? You see my little boy. Handsome, okay? But don't think that because Jamie grew in attraction to Doug that men can do that to us. They're different. They have to find us pretty. They're not going to want to marry us if they don't think, think they're pretty. Because guess what marriage is to a man? It's death. New book coming, girl. I love you. I got to go. I'm going to come back and do the one where Chris is going for fans and sweet darling baby Janice. Okay. Love you. Remember my books on Amazon. Uh, links are below. Bye, guys. Mwah.